Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Type in where you are in the chat. Make sure it says at the bottom to everyone, not hosts and panelists. I'm so, so happy to be here. I've missed my students, my community. I had a wonderful holiday and we have so much goodness. Hello, Jennifer from Arizona. Um, any questions you have today, put in the Q&A, just do that. We have a lot of goodness. If you're new here, I'm Lilla Rogers. I'm an art agent and founder of Lilla Rogers Studio Art Agency. I'm an author, e-course founder of Mats, Make Art That Sells. I've been in business since 1984 and really my whole life, even years before that, I've always made my living as a creative person. And that is why I am here to help you, truly, truly help you do the same. And I want to tell you, yes, you can make a living as a creative person, as an artist, as an illustrator, crafter, art author, so many good things. Oh, we have so many people. Hello from Dubai and Switzerland. And thank you, belated birthday wishers. I had a nice time. I had a really wonderful time. Um, so this is a free Zoom for everybody. I'm here to answer other questions. First of all, um, Kim, can you pop up the poll? I do a poll because I like to see who I'm speaking to. I want to get a sense. I have a pretty good idea after 10 years. This will be our 10th year of my e-course business, Make Art That Sells. 10th year, and uh, it's a second home for me. Hello, Lisa from Philly and over your UK. Jan, uh, Jan Girardi, nice to see you. So many new and old faces. So we have lots of questions for you. Answer them so I can see. And if you can't find the poll, it's behind. Just press escape to minimize this window of me. Hello from Austin and Princeton, Asheville. Okay, St Greg Vineyard and I discussed on social media. I called him class president erroneously. He said no. That's um, that's his title is uh, class clown. So he prefers to identify as class clown. <laughs> so thank you for being here. He always makes it amusing and everything. We have a lot of regulars. So um, good. Keep filling out the questionnaire. We have a lot of new people and a lot of um, people who have taken Matt's courses before. Lots of people have taken boot camp already. We're going to be talking about boot camp, but I want this val value added for you. I want you to get something of benefit from the video. So what we're going to do is. I'm going to tell you about the assignment boot camp class, which starts today. Today. So if you go to makeartthatsells.com, sign up for boot camp, you will get today's assignment. Um, yeah. Jennifer says she just printed out the mini. It's fun to print things out, make a booklet, scribble in it, draw in it. You'll get a number of pages. I, I can't tell you how many, I haven't counted but lots of pictures and lots of um, me writing things to you and advice and help. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about boot camp. I'm here to answer any questions. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi, Takita. Uh, thank you for liking the space behind me. Hey, Becky's in the house. Becky McCarthy is our studio manager. She knows everything and keeps me under control. So um, speaking of being out of control, I have to show you this jewelry piece I made, which is the most outrageous. Um, this, So this I bought in Oakland, California with my dear friend Loretta from art school this past um, last year, September. And it's this beautiful butterfly with sequins. And then this is this piece of art I did and I machine embroidered it, hand embroidered it, put it in a credit card and um, wrapped it. So that's what it is. And I will show you my partially nuts piece of jewelry I made and you'll see in a minute. But let's go back to what we're going to do today. I have a stack of beautiful products to show you that 
are the kinds of work you could get from the work you're going to get in boot camp, kind of gigs your work can attract. And I'll give you a tip on what makes them strong. Okay, so you can learn something there. Um, oh, good, good, good. Hello from Egypt. Let's see. Then I'm going to give you tips on creative courage, how to overcome the negative voices. We're going to do a journal prompt live. I'm going to give away a boot camp course with a little uh, game, you know, the little category game. And then maybe if we have time, some, you can raise your hand to be uh, picked for my career tarot. My, my career tarot, where's the tip? in here, rear to row, um, and then ask me anything. So buckle up, people. A little about me, I'm, I've been an agent for 28 years. I have my company, Little Rogers Studio. My two top agents are Susan McCabe and Kim Fleming, who, and Kim is behind the scenes here right now. We have clients like Anthropology, all the major book publishers, all the top ad agencies, Disney, New York City, Museum of Modern Art, toy manufacturers, fabric collections, greeting cards, you name it. If it has cool art on it, we've probably worked with that company. Literally hundreds of clients, but really more like thousands. My agency represents some of the top artists, illustrators working today, or I have worked with some to get them on their way, like Lisa Congdon and Susie Altman, Carolyn Gavin, Helen Dardick, some big names um, all started here. So I know what companies are looking for. We assign every day. We know what companies want, what they're looking for. And that informs what I want to give you for your assignment. I only make, an, make a, assignments that I think will be really fruitful, lucrative for you creatively, financially, and that I'm going to have a ball writing that assignment for you. Because if I'm excited, I have a feeling, and this is tested from 10 years doing this and then teaching for many years before that, including at Parsons, New York, and even middle school kids, is that if I'm excited about the assignment, I have a feeling you're going to be excited too. So boot camp is incredible for this. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. A minute. Again, sign up today. Class starts today. When you sign up, you will immediately get your my your first assignment. Um, Lisa says your very first assignment was mushrooms. And I still love mushrooms and drawing mushrooms. They're just endless. Um, so here's how boot camp works, and you can read all about it on the website. In a nutshell, every Monday for three months, you get an assignment from, uh, well, the first Monday you get a mini assignment. This is a safe, little, easy assignment, deceptively easy for all levels. Even hotshot professionals can benefit, but people that are rather have uh, wobbly legs with their drawing or kind of new, and I need them to feel safe and comfortable and that they can do it as well. So you have a mini. You do not know what the assignment is going to be. You are just drawing, for example, mushrooms or a certain words or, or astrological symbols or something like that in a certain way with a twist. Everything must have a twist. It can't be something that you can get anywhere. It must be intriguing to you. Um, hopefully pop up your eyes like that with excitement. And then the, the second Monday of the month, you take what you've drawn, some of the imagery, and I give you the assignment and you begin to put it together. So I, while I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking that I want to be sure to tell you creative people can get overwhelmed, not because you're, du you're duds, because the opposite. You have so many ideas and you can get turned on by so much. Like, don't you want to just draw this, that lettering? You know, there's just everything is possibly creative. So I need to keep it narrow this course is not just assignments, but it's my years of understanding 
how to teach the creative brain most effectively. I am a mother of two creative children, and that has also informed me. I know how to get the best out of creative people. I'm bragging, but it's true. I'm sorry. It's true. So that's the second month. You're not overwhelmed. You already have started. You're not going, oh my God, the assignment is on blah, blah. I don't know where to begin. And I want to do a great job. No. Annette Krauss says, some of my best work came from boot camp and those mini assignments too. Yes. Sometimes the mini assignments you show anyway in your portfolio or on social media, they're still strong pieces of work, but maybe it's not a book cover or design for a magazine illustration. You see, it's a great setup. Thank you, Caroline. Um, the third Monday of every month of the three months, you get Margot Tento, creative director of the podcaster of Windowsill Chats. She's going to interview me next week or something. Um, and she does Pinterest boards on the theme. She gets my assignments in advance, makes Pinterest boards and they're gorgeous and she's cool and everybody loves her. And that's to motivate and inform and raise your taste level and so forth. The fourth month is like this. We're together again and we chat and it's really varied. It's whatever I want to help you with. Did I put the tea bag in here? I hope so. Here. You've seen this mug, right? We did this mug. See that face? So, um, I like to hold a mug. I hope you're holding a warm mug right now, unless you're in a hot climate. Who the heck is the course for, Lilla? The seasoned pro, the beginner, the creative curious who want to ramp up their style or broaden their income streams or switch. Let's see, how many people do we have interested in switching from their non-art job to their art career? A lot interested in switching from my art job to self-employed art career good a bunch um a ton a lot of you are work not a ton uh, about half of you are working illustrator artists but want to level up your career um a lot of you want to take the, the court art courses for personal enrichment you're a crafter looking to get into illustration you're an art student wanting to go pro you just like taking my classes or other. If you wrote other, you can say what the other is that you're doing. Okay. Um, so we have a lot of a lot of you who have taken classes before and some new people. So what's in the class every Monday you log in? You log in. Okay, I, I did all this. So let's look at sample products, okay? Mm. This is, I think, is it my vanilla almond decaf? Or maybe calf, did I go calf? Okay, so again, I'm showing you products that are the kind, so, okay, Lilla, why don't you just come out and tell people what the assignments are? What is your game, girl? Like what game, what dangerous game are you playing? You're messing with our heads. Just tell us. No, I will not because it will overwhelm if I say you're going to uh, you're going to do this. Oh, my God, I'm going to do a art for a thermos. Now I'm going to get all weird and freaked out and and everything. And I don't know. No, no, I'm not going to tell you. And also to keep you coming back every Monday because it's like an, you know, episodes, right? It's like TV show. Thank you for liking, look at this, isn't this cool? Okay, so here, some of these are by my artists, projects we've done uh, through my agency and some are other products I just want to show you. Okay, Ali said, I said other to stay open to all possible outcomes, Lilla, thank you. <laughs> Jenny, is, Je is British Jenny in the house? Where's British Jenny? <laughs> no I don't drink or oh here she is I was going to ask if Lil had any spill the beans I don't drink or smoke pot this is natural it's natural <laughs> okay my kids are like mom are you high no 
This is your mother. Um, practical magic for kids. Look at this. These are the kinds of work that you can get from book from the art you do in boot camp. A, B. It might even be a kind of assignment I give you. So why is this so great? What's so great about this? It's by Katie Vernon, my artist. We did this with uh, Katie Abrams and Running Press. Um, the yeah, type in the colors. Texture, look at that background watercolory texture. She has interesting imagery. You are not just an artist, you're a stylist. You pick and choose things for what to draw. Look at the back cover. She gives 110. Look at the braid on the girl and the blue arms. That's so great. And here she's got like Libra scales and a crystal and sun and moon crystal. So she, you're a stylist. Yep, thank you, Greg, for writing that down. Let's see what's inside. Oh, the color matches the mood of the book. It's mysterious, but since it's for kids, it's not super dark. <laughs> okay, here's a in, full page interior illustration. These are the kinds of gigs you can get as an illustrator. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, this is pretty. Who's salivating yet? Texture, color. So there's a lot of interest. I will tell you something I tell my artists. Have moody, dark work in your portfolio for sure, if you like, but have bright colored work too, because that's what sells. Both sell, but more bright color. Not garish, has to be gorgeous. I would consider this bright color. I would consider it bold. Um, so we will look at more bright color. All right, so let's set that down. Are you having fun, everybody? Hello, Lydia. We just took... Lydia Graves on. I snapped her up from class after what? How many classes did you take? Kay Wolfersberger is here from snapped her up. Takita snapped her up. Mm. I should say that I do look. Please, people in the Facebook group, put a make sure there's a, the about you section, a link to your website because I look all the time, I wanna see. And then I talked to Susan and Kim about, uh, sorry, I'm reading. Um, Susan and Kim about, what do you think? What do you think? Let's talk. So we have a lot of people we're interested in. So here is, I showed you this. This is a beautiful thermos. The art you do in class could land you a job like this. I'm not saying that it's just gonna to come to you magically. You know, you'll send your work out, but we'll talk about that. Um, and we talk about that in portfolio review class, too. You can take that. This is Mara Penny, Practical Witch's Guided Journal. And what she does for this book cover is she broke it up in a really interesting way. And honestly, each quadrant is gorgeous and different. This is like sort of a gray, this is yellow, lavender, rose, green, violet, aqua, you see? And really pretty. It's similar to Katie's style, but uh, hers, she comes from a home decor background and Katie's is usually has a bit more sort of wonkiness to it. And there's room for both of them. Just trying to, oh, this one just has like itty bitty icons. It's good to have, those are called icons, little things. Good to have that in your portfolio. Okay, here's a book by somebody I know, Lilla Rogers, me. I don't know if you can see, it's awfully faded here. This is a book cover I did for uh, Chronicle, 1994. And it's, two things are going on in here. One is that it is, oh, you have it, Eve. Uh, I, I broke every rule. I broke every rule. I didn't want to do, this is, 
I don't even know if a book cover would be published like this again now, because it's not the sort of bold title. You can't even find the title up here, the Chicken Soup Book. And it says, the Chicken Soup Book by Janet Hayes and drawings by Lilla Rogers. And I wrote drawings by rather than illustrated by, I just wanted to. Old and new recipes from around the world. Here's a chicken. I had to draw like a billion chickens. <laughs> And it got, they got very stylized. Okay. Oh, I had a ball doing this. This is African spicy soup with plantains. So you see, I love the, um, I love smudging. So it feels like chicken soup to me. It's mushy. And, and also, how do you say around the world? This is Mexican-ish. This is a Japanese cup. So that's how I said, I said it in pictures. I love drawing like a can. I will say my lettering's gotten a lot better, but I did the best I could then. This one's pretty good. I love this piece. You know how big they are? I was gonna pull it out like this big, really big. This is Southern Italian chicken. And look how I designed it. So you have a column here. And then this is everything usually is on a sort of wonky grid. So that's important for you to see. Dividing your page up. One day I'll do a design course. So here we have, this is by Hiroko Yoshimoto, illustrated by 99 Things That Bring Me Joy. This is with Abrams. And what I love about it is that the objects are fun and charmingly drawn. Well, here's the cover. Okay. You can see my notes. And like the tote bag, the typewriter at that angle, the record, boots. So it's what you choose to draw. This is a journal, interactive journal, a journal that you write in. And you know my Artie book course starts in April and it's going to teach you how to get gigs like these, like this and this. It's going to teach you how to get those gigs. But newsflash, bean spilling happening right here. Bean spilling. What I'm teaching you in class for the second and third month, particularly the third month, are really going to help you with the Artie book course. You don't have to take the Artie book course. You will want to. It is going to be the freaking most incredible class in addition to boot camp. However, that said, you are going to be prepared, well prepared. So there you go. What did Jen say that British Jenny's laughing at? Get reddish, ready, British Jenny. Okay, look at how gorgeous that is. It's about the color palette. How many colors? One, two, three, and white. Four with the green leaf. One, two, something like that. Very restrained. It's about the shapes. It's about the line quality. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Here we have a book cover for a fiction book, a novel. We've got a decorative border. This is illustrated by Marina Munn. Uh, not a book we did, but I wanted to show you how pretty the border is, the couple, and the scene in San, of San Francisco. That tells you the where. Remember on my book cover? I showed you the two vessels, the Japanese cup and the Mexican bowl to say international food. This is saying a couple in San Francisco and like love or lust or something. So you tell the story with the objects you choose. You don't always have to make a scene. Well, you should always make a scene. That's a play on words. Okay, love. Best cover of the year, in my opinion. But this is by Chronicle and this is by Sophie Blackall. Look at that, is that incredible? Is that beautiful? I will teach you how to do this a little bit 
in the March boot camp and also in the April RD book course. Uh, you know, and I was thinking, what can I tell you about this? Uh, that why is it so great? It just is like these stones and the gold and the lettering, the shadows on the stones, and it's um, embossed. So very simple layout. She has a little bit of text about something to look forward to. This She wrote this at the beginning of COVID, I think. And then an illustration. That is the format. A little bit of text and an illustration. That's how writing and illustrating a book can be for a creative person. Now we're moving on to fabric. I know a lot of you are pattern people. So this, these are all things we did in the, the agency. We did this with Helen Dardick. Uh, let me open it bigger for you. Nice, right? Isn't that beautiful? We're going to look at another Hel a Helen puzzle in a minute. This is, so again, these are the kinds of jobs you can get from the work you do in boot camp. You might, it might be a fabric assignment and it might not be. I won't say. Okay, see that? How beautiful. Okay, there's another floral. Um, who's this by? Hmm. Do we know who this is by? Maybe Kim knows. She'll never find that. There's too many. Okay, well, anyway, pretty. Sorry, apologies. Susie Altman, we did this. Look at these great houses. It's upside down. Charming. This is by um hate hate kate 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 mason i love this one just these like charming doodles okay this is bright colors but it's a, a rich array of bright colors right she's got purples and olives and plums and magentas and neutrals when i first started writing matt's courses 10 years ago, I felt that people needed to work on neutrals. I don't have to nag you about it anymore. We want neutrals, browns, beige, creams, buff. Like, here are some neutrals. Make sure you put those in your work. It makes the other stuff sing. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm looking at the questions in the Q&A. Be sure to put things in. I will answer those. This is by our artist Tara Lily. It's a beautiful kit. How great is this? This just came out. I know I showed this to some of you before. A little sewing kit. Um, she hand paints in gouache. Do you need to be digital? No, you just need to be able to scan it in. Hand painted. She's great with color. She's great with her patterns. So that's that. And last but not least, until we get to a journal prompt, is this we did with Helen Dardick. It's a puzzle. Why is this so great? Type in why. Type in why she gets so much work. Um, yeah, home scans are so good. You just get, yeah, you can even with your phone. Textures, vibes, very original shapes, colors, vibrant, so much in there. She has her own graphic language, very colorful, whimsical, bold. Yes, bold, so it'll stand out small on Amazon or on the website of the company. Who did this one? Um, uh, GenuineFred.com. Fred and friends. So it needs to read small. That's why bold colors matter. But you don't. Not everything in your portfolio needs to be bold. Just have some things for sure. Here's what else. She has geometrics. Where is it? Here. Geometrics. She geometrics. She's abstracts. She's got lettering. She's got creatures, inventive creatures and people and things. There's so much she utilizes. 
every kind of tool. Okay, that was good. Now let's get these post-its out of here. All right, so where are we? Um, so here's what I want you to journal prompt either in the chat or on a piece of paper, um, <laughs> on a piece of paper. I want you to write down, don't think, just blurt it out. What kinds of projects do you want for your art? What kinds of products do you want your art on? What kind? Textile, book covers, editorial, kid books, stationary sets, children's books, books, toys, socks, kids book fabric, home decor, journals, books, beach collection, puzzles, travel, arty adult books, wrapping paper mugs, textiles, wallpaper, pretty packaging, arty books, anthropology mugs. Yeah, packaging, wrapping paper, baby's clothes, recipe books. Yeah, who wants to do cookbooks? just thought of that <laughs> yeah it's, you know it's food it's art okay so um where are we now don't forget you can see the schedule of of mats under courses assignment boot camp schedule on the website again the website make art that sells go to courses assignment boot camp schedule you will see this schedule does wall art sell absolutely it's all about finding products, turning them over, seeing who is the company and approaching them. Many companies get art from outside people as opposed to doing it within the company. Um, let's see. Okay, type, help me explain how great the Facebook group is. Help me explain how great that the Facebook group is and what you've, how those of you have taken my classes, how you've benefited from the group. You find, yeah, um, camaraderie, support, re, an amazing resource, welcoming. I have friends all over the world now, safe space, supportive, found answers to detailed questions can ask anything, inspiring, funny, supportive, welcoming. Yes, great international community. And you probably will find people in your area, especially boot camp. We have so many students in boot camp. It is probably our most popular course in terms of numbers of students. So um, you can, hey, any other people here from Berlin, you know? Okay, here's what students have to say. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly, the best art class I've ever taken. I was definitely challenged by the assignments, but Lilla presented them just like you'd eat an elephant, very small bites. I love that the minis built into the big assignments in such surprising ways. Dory Durbin. Galia Luz said, I don't have enough words to describe the growth and improvement in my work. Lilla's live videos are so inspiring. This is a live video right now. I think that her holistic approach to what it means to be a professional artist is what I found the most valuable and helped me the most. Okay. Matt's prep, new topic. Who did the Matt's prep? The filigree, the filigree, right? It's different, it's cool, but it gets you to draw lots of lines. If you haven't done it, don't worry. It's on the blog. It's in, I think it's in the, the course. And I give you your first assignment today anyway. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's an opportunity for you to work on your line quality. You see, there's methodness under this hairy brain. There's a method to my madness. Line quality detail. What kind of Robin says it's a good meditative activity. Love it. Madeline says that she's doing it while watching. I, encouraging, I encourage you to 
draw or doodle while you're listening to me. Creative people, it helps things stick, right? How many people uh, draw or doodle while you are listening to talk? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Doing it with a 3D pen. Mm. Oh, that's good tea. All right, let's give you some. Uh, so let's see. Oh, so if you haven't, if you want to see the 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 free prep for boot camp preparation called Matt's Prep, you go over to makeartthatsells.com slash blog and you get it. I advise you to do that maybe after this, but well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we're gonna get we're gonna get all Lilla on you. We're gonna talk about art requires courage. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Because you're doing something wholly original, hasn't been done before, doesn't exist. You wonder if it even needs to exist. <clears throat> okay. That's scary. It requires courage. Yay. Yay. You're doing something that's, you're climbing a mountain, you're hiking the Pacific hoozy trail thingy but it's worth it do you know what the antidote is to the fear many you can type in and i'll tell you mine assignments that bring you joy that get you excited and playfulness when you get back to play you're in that creative mode if it's not play that's when the weirdness can happen, right? It silences the inner critic. We can all go to inner critic. I'm all I, I'm now on my third book, my proposal for a, a third book, a new book. It's what I do in early mornings. Just they come because I love to do it. Then I'm going to be working on some mat stuff and some agency stuff because I love to do it. And when you do what you love with structure and not jumping all around, when you focus that play, you will be a big success. Class closed, case closed, class over. Not really. I have more. Um, suspense is good. We talked about that. Mystery of what the assignment is going to be. Breaking things into small manageable bits. So if I give you an assignment in the class and you're overwhelmed, what I want you to do is make it into a little kit. Get out your materials and lay down your pens or get out your Procreate brushes and place them whatever. Or get out paper, fill a water cup glass that you like, get your brushes. Make the preparation in Montessori. They do this with kids. Preparation, little children. They get them to prepare. Prepare is preparing your mind, getting you in the groove. So that's why I break things down. But if it's still too small, too big, too overwhelming, break it down. I want you to succeed. That's why I'm freaking here, people. Okay. I want to talk about my apple tart tatin. We're, we're jumping now. So I made this, I made this tata twice. First time crushed it. The, the caramel, the sugar turned to caramel thick and not burnt. Oh, the first, actually three times. First time I had to throw out the, the caramel because I burned it. It's normal. Number two, made it perfectly. The apples were crisp, the crust beautiful. Okay. I got the recipe from real simple. Number two, that was number two. Number three, I made it for, again, for my husband and company. And I thought, oh, I'll put the lid on. It will soften the apples and keep the caramel warm. You caramelize the sugar, right? Well, guess what? The apples became too mushy. I shouldn't have done it. Could I go, Lilla, you idiot what have you done 
it was going to be more she was fine it was fine but no do not click that link right now people all right stay here do not go shopping on your recipe that's okay <laughs> it's all right listen to me think of i so i go okay next time i won't put the lid on lesson learned I won't put the lid on and mush out my apples. It's a science experiment, but I do know how to make the caramel really well now. Got that down. This is what you do with your art. You say, oh, cool. And that mini, I loved how I drew that boot. That line quality came out really just great. It's smooth or scratchy like that. Don't love how when I drew that cup, it was like I didn't like it. And, and I think I know why. Okay, good information. Everything is good information. Even at my stage, I look at my lettering that I did in my 40s, which isn't like 20s. And I'm better now in my 60s with my lettering. I'm still growing. Okay. So you continue to grow. My courses are better, I think. I don't know, but I think so. Let's see. So that's the apple tart tatin. Here's how to prepare for class. I so um right, didn't I? So I did a big zoom on how to prepare for class and all about class in and that will be in the classroom. It was also free. Did you did many of you see that? You know the video I'm talking about to prepare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to watch some more videos, I did a five-part series on Artie Book Course. And that's somewhere. Oh, it's on Instagram, says British Jenny, that big one. Um, quote book for us one day. Yeah, I am compiling my quotes. My daughter for, um, let's just call it gift giving, because we don't celebrate anything in particular. We do kind of Hanukkah. Um, she made me a card. And she wrote... Mom, just to let you know, I do listen to everything you say. And she wrote down like you all the things I've said over the years. You only have one body. Um, <laughs> just a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch. So that's a little side. So anyway, the video will talk about how to prepare and more. Do you get what you get and you don't get upset. Thank you, British Jenny. <laughs> that I learned from preschool, their preschool. All right. We are now going to pop up a volunteer. Thank you for signing up for that, Caroline. Um, Becky and, and um, British Jenny, can people still sign up for my year, the whole year, if they want to take all the different, if they want to take these things? Don't forget home decor is coming up in February. And I'm doing the, I'm doing the, um, Oh, she says, yes, but you need to be quick until end of Jan. Um, I'm home decor. I'm doing the mood board, the trend board for that now, because we always give new trend boards. Okay, we are going to do career to row. So raise your hand if you would like to be popped up on screen. And um, I will read your career to row cards. But first, let's see these. Oh, we have quite a few questions. I'm going to look at Q&A. Don't forget, we have the giveaway. And um, giveaway will be at the end. We'll give away a boot camp. Let's see. All right. Kathleen Donahue says, Hi, Lilla. I make figurative and abstract art. What would be ideal products for placing them on term on in terms of sales? Well, abstract art instantly comes to mind. Wall art, gallery art, journal covers. Absolutely. Anything that's not linked to text, which we call editorial. Editorial means anything that's related to text, magazine, books, and so forth. Now, your figurative work is perfect. I can see it. Do, depending what you like to draw, you could illustrate a nonfiction book on you know crystals if you paint crystals if you paint endangered species animals so there's just a million things the best way is go to a bookstore 
go to that charming gift shop in your neighborhood or another neighborhood. Oh, Louise says, yes, absolutely. You can also upgrade to My Year of Art School if you've already registered for a class or more. Write us to hello at makeartthatsells.com. Hello, Louise. In England, I call her lovely Louise. Okay, that's nice. Charlene Ahana. Regarding Lilith's quotes, they're um, entering my second year of making the courses with Lilla Rogers. Yay! There's so much information, life changing, and I make myself art pieces with lettering. Lilla's amazing words. Thank you, Charlene. And my art to remind me of the most important points. I wonder if I can share these in the galleries or in Facebook groups. Of course, I need to credit Lilla for the wisdom. Would it be appropriate for me to share these? Thank you so much for your considerate asking. Yes, you just just go like um, people buy your joy dash Lilla Rogers in the art. Or if you don't have the dash Lilla Rogers in the art, just say, okay, especially because if I'm going to put them in a book one day, you know, thank you. But do absolutely show them. Donna says, what if your style's not cute or wonky? Do you need to change your realistic style to funky to get work? Again, research the market. If you see other work and you go, yeah, that's like mine. I love that. I love that. That's like mine. Then the answer is yes. If you don't see any work out there that you like or connect with, then maybe it is time to pivot a little. Um, Tara, put your question in the chat, okay? I mean, in the Q&A. Udayana, being in the company of so much talent pushes me better. Wonderful. It's true. Um, Jenny Eden, hi, Lila. What kind of range of products do you cover normally in boot camp? Also, do you give any mini assignments that can help you with any character development in the minis? If, say, one of the project briefs are the books. Character development, you're going to get in illustrating children's books, and you're going to specifically get in assignment boot camp colon character class character boot camp which is later in the year and that's with zoe the art director for children's books and riley wilkinson who is the art director for toys so that's how you do that let's see carol um carol you it will be easy to take a picture of your art and submit it to the gallery and people can help you there and people in the Facebook group. Okay. Leanne says, I think I signed up for both of the ones with character design to help. Very excited about that. Oh, that's great. Let's see. Um, Patty says, I'd like to get better at lettering. Any suggestions? Well, what do you know? We're going to be doing lettering in February in boot camp, little bit, little bit. You're going to play around, not a ton of instruction, but inspiration and a great opportunity. And I, this assignment is freaking insane. It is so, so nutty and cool. You're going to love it. And I can't wait to see what you do. And everyone's going to have different lettering. Everyone is going to letter different things. And I'm going to tell you what to do. So you don't even have to think up what to letter, okay? So not tons of instruction on how to make a letter. Um, oh, Riley is an agent for toys. Yes, thank you, Allie. Not, you, you, I'm not gonna say here's how you do it, okay? Just so you know, you can Google that, but we'll, we'll do that later, another time. Let's see. Carolyn Hotayes. Lilla, what do you call it when you make little drawings? Not vignettes, but the other word. I always forget that icons are the little ones. Tara Bradley Connell. Hi, Lilla. This is my third year with Mats, and I signed up for the year. Yay. Question, how long should I wait until querying agents? I want to make sure my portfolio is strong enough, but fear that if I keep waiting every year, then I'll never have the courage to do it. Why don't you query agents every six months? And when you get better, I just spoke to an artist who queried me. And then sometime late, and I passed, but I, and then sometimes later I said, look, I really love seeing what you're doing in class. Query me again. 
it's no skin off my nose to look at a piece of uh, an email quickly. Okay, and sometimes it's timing. It's timing. Okay. Um, what about collaging, says Kat? Collaging, you do not want to use other people's imagery. That's the only thing. You need to be sure you have the rights to the art. And a lot of publishers and companies do not want to touch it. I, as an agent, am not super keen on collage using, like, you can't take this and collage it. You don't own that. But if you make your own papers where you paint them, make your own patterns, print them out, and glue them down, and you own all the art, collage away. Yeah. Tracy English says it's a great example of creating all our own stuff from scratch, 100%. Okay. Um, Kat says, when you say work on your line work, what do you, uh, how do you mean that for digital art? Well, you make lines in digital and you use different brushes. Type in the br brushes you, so many of you love to use. Um, Max Packs. Studio pen. So there's all different Bardo brushes. Yeah, that's the one I hear a lot. Um, Eve says, someone last year had the same situation. She applied twice. First was a strong refusal. And second, probably strong refusal meant a pass. And second was extremely positive. She mentioned having found another agent in the same agency who was more interested and knowledgeable in her artistic style. 100%. Okay. So now we're going to do career tarot, then we're going to do a giveaway, and uh, all right, so let's see who's raised their hands. No, I just raised my hand. All right, participants. Oh, wow, we have a lot of people raise their hand. Please lower your hand if I've already done a career tarot for you. You know what? I don't think I've done um eve so let's do eve y-v-e-s i don't think i've done you okay this is something i like to do on the on our what do you call it um so kim do you have that going on yep she should be popping up any second i think it's a he oh he sorry i don't know <laughs> we'll soon find out i don't I just know the comments that they make. It is a he. Yes, it is. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. What country? Same again. I'm from Berlin. We've talked two years ago. We, that's so, right. We, and your hair's longer. Yes. I did cut them in between, but. <laughs> it looks good. I'm so glad Thanks. you're here. Thank you for being in class again. Good to see you. I haven't signed up this year yet. I've been I've been wanting to sign up a food camp, but I was waiting and I wanted to see today and life is busy. So mm -hmm. I was hoping I tend to take your courses and then I feel either overwhelmed or I just do everything and then I just have a pile of everything. And so this year is about focus. So I'm super happy to have the towel with you. Okay, good. So let's see what the old Tarot Ruski says. So what we're going to do, everyone. hi everybody, um, and of course I hope I see you in boot camp. If you don't know yes. what to take, people, just take boot camp because you get the biggest bang for the buck, and it's three months, and it's a really good value. That's why we have like usually nine hundred students in there, but it still feels cozy, right? Okay, so what I want everybody to do is just take a breath for a minute. And send good vibes to Eve. Okay, so I've picked, I've let my hands pick the cards. And I, I don't know that much about Eve, which is good because then it's kind of fresh. Um, but I'm excited to learn more. So the first one is 
you will soon be surprised by an opportunity you didn't expect. <gasps> I'm excited. And when you get it, will you email me? Yes, I will. At I won't, Lilla, I won't forget. Com. Okay, good. Oh, what do you think it is? What comes to mind? Wait, don't tell me. Picture book. That would be nice. That would be awesome. Yeah, picture book. And it's forest. It's got forests and trees. Maybe a fox or wolf. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> fox was my words on the daily prom two days ago. And we last talked about it when we had editorial together. And the time was when uh, you had the article um, for how the trees talk together. Oh, right, right. And, and we made a shift. Do you love drawing trees and forests? Yes, I do. I keep thinking I should be more in nature anyway. This year was also part of the plan. So you see, it all comes. <laughs> Your tower is always put on. I love to do this I, 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 for every reason. Oh, that's good. I want you to do more trees, more forests, ferns, nature, woods, dark. Do some that are very dark and kind of spooky. And do some that are more bright and sh like light, light coming through the forest, okay? Um, and then send those around to publishers and agents, okay. okay? You do not need an agent for picture books. You go directly to, to, um, to editors at publishers, art directors, art directors. Get an animation video job. Wow. There's a lot okay, of that, that, there. That's surprising. <laughs> Why? I've been thinking about it, but it's always, it seems so much work. And I think I'm just like, I think I have some of the skills, but it would be amazing. I've been watching so many like animated videos and I've been thinking one day that's, that's going to be me. So there, boom, the universe is saying, go for it, get it, just apply, you know, and it can be part-time so you have time for your art or full-time if you need the money and work nights and weekends on your art till you get more work. Um, there's so much work for it. My my daughter is a um, digital motion graphic designer and loves it. She loves it. She works for a company in New York, Brooklyn. Um, there's a lot of work and you have enough skills now to get something. I feel that you have enough skills to apply now and you're not pretending that you know everything you know what you know and that's good enough that's enough and they need you and you bring your art background and you're a very likable person to work with and just be good on your deadlines this is mama talking now okay all right thank you Next. i'm listening i love it Number three, get back to what you love. Get back to what you love. What do you love? Uh, Japan. I'm a big Japanese fan. I've been wanting to keep practicing and learning. I was lucky to have a gig last year with Japan for a big festival this summer. So oh. I was going to have like a little, a little um, character of mine on a t-shirt, printed oh. um, on a lot of t-shirt and then like walking around the festival in August. What about so, Japanese tea? What does that mean to you? That well, the, that and ikebana, the flowers, like the art of flower arrangements. Those would be two things that, and it's go back to nature again. Oh, right. What right. you were mentioning. Yeah. So, oh. so connected. Oh, that's so great. Forest yeah. bathing. Yeah. That's great. I feel so good for you I feel really good number four try something new well that feels overwhelming but let's see well what you're going to do is you're going to um send your art around to publishers the forest you're going to apply to an animation job you're going to do one a week okay okay one, so this week you're going to do one of those next week you're going to do one of those the third week, you'll do another thing on that. Just one thing per week. I do, you don't have to do everything all at once. People, listen up. 
with your goals one thing a week. That's why boot camp is weekly. Okay, and last but not least, keep making your work better. Okay, what this is about is do the science approach that I talked about earlier. So when you do things that are good, do more of those. But if something isn't strong, then develop it more, get rid of it, or try more, or work off the, to the side just on line quality or just on color, okay? Don't sink back. That's what, try something new and make your work better. That's what it is. Don't keep making the same art over and over. This is true for so many people. Don't keep doing the same thing. Grow, grow, try new things. Look at the art that others are doing. Look at art out there, but particularly the art when you see people show their work, go, oh, that's how they, I could draw it. Not copy, but that's informing me how I can make my work better. I can push my colors. Uh, what do I mean by not doing the same art? If you keep drawing bunnies, teacups, sewing machines, and wolves, and that's all you draw over and over, Set that aside maybe and try drawing some new subject matter or use some new materials. But one of the best things to do is get reference, everyone. Reference is if you're going to draw, I don't have anything to grab here. Oh, here I do. If you're going to draw a camper bus, get reference, okay? What's the logo like, the bumper, the headlights, the windows? What's the shine like on it? What's the shadows? Is there a trunk? Look at that. <laughs> How do the doors open, the hinges? Get reference, study, learn things. Really dig deeper and deeper so you have more information in your art. Um, Becky says, which is why Bootcamp is so great for your portfolio, you will draw new things. Thank you, Becky. That's great. That's great. And those are the five. You will soon be surprised by an opportunity you didn't expect. Get an animation video job. Get back to what you love. Try something new and make your art better. Yeah. And get back to, so these three are all of the same piece. I don't know if you can see. It's all blurry. But get back to what you love. Try something new and, and keep making your art better. That is true for anyone who wants to evolve your work when you keep like we tend to use the same color palette. How many, you know, raise your hand. I have like a decade of everything with yellow, like mostly yellow palette, you know, like like the, the cookbook. I did. Um, what The Tarot book, uh, Tarot I'm using, it's just mine. They're just mine from the back of my first book. Um, I just like to make things in the back and, but then I've updated them. As you can see, like I've handwritten things on some on little cards too. It's very important for us to develop our drawing skills, broaden our color palettes. Like look at the beautiful color palette on here. Look at that with that bluish black background, the flowers. Okay, it's important to push your design, the layout of your art, your drawing skills, reference what you're drawing, the selection of the imagery you draw, which is the curation, the styling. Did I say color? Okay. Yes, All you did. Many times. So you keep, you want to keep pushing those things, drawing, design, styling, blah, 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 layout. Okay. So that's what I want for you. So is that exciting? Totally. I'm just, uh, I'm pleased to see you again. I'm pleased I was chosen for the Tahoe. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And I will email you as soon as um, those trees and forest imagery are ready. And it might not even be work for that. That's how you get the, the gig, but it might even be like about rocks and stones. It might even be bark on trees. It might be animals that live in the woods, 
it's just something very much around that. So there you go. And you say, is it, how do you pronounce it, Eve? Eve, yeah. Like Yves Saint Laurent or Yves Klein. Right, right. Oh, it was so good to see you again. Yeah, it was two years ago. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Time flies. Oh, this is so great. It's so great. Well, Happy thanks. belated birthday. I've said it in the in the chat. I did a quick um, illustration with a cloud and a sun, which you can oh, see on. on I, I think I sent it to you via Instagram already. Thank but you. But you have so many messages. I did, but I want, and if I didn't get back to everybody, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I'm excited for you, Eve. I'm really excited. I want you to go to that next level. Okay. Thank you. And, and you know what? Let's gift Eve a boot camp class. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I forgot I can do that. Let's do that. Okay. So you are in boot camp. You didn't buy it yet, right? No. No, because you said you didn't. Okay. So write to um, hello at makeartthatsells.com and tell Louise that you won boot camp. And Becky's here too, so she will know. She Perfect. Thank you. I'm Yay! so excited. Oh, I'm so glad you'll be in class. That's good. And That's then we'll, good. you'll see my work at the same time. And I'll keep working on my trees and forests and stones or woodland creatures. And yes. maybe with a Japanese twist. I love it. Or do a few different ways of going. This is more earthy. This is more Japanese. This is more wabi-sabi. You know, I love it. Okay, fabulous. So nice to see you. Thank you for, for popping up your hand. Oh, thank that was you. fun. And thank that you for the fun. gift. Oh, my pleasure. We're still going to do a giveaway. Don't worry, peeps. Thank you, Eve. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, okay, let me just, wasn't that amazing? I, um, I, I just want to, you know, I will do these these um, career tarots in every uh, every every the fourth week of, of boot camp. So there'll be three other times, and maybe I'll do a few people if we have time. And I can give away a course in each one because we'll have we have courses all year that I teach. So yeah, that was a good one. That was really good. That was wonderful. <sighs> really enjoy doing that it just does something to my soul all right so now we have the giveaway here's how the giveaway works if you have we're giving away boot camp if you've already bought give uh, boot camp you can give it away to the the boot camp you win to someone else so don't worry about that oh thank you eve he writes, it was amazing. Thank you so very much. I'm honored I was chosen. So happy I to know I will see Lil and all of you and many new faces in boot camp. Yes. He has very good energy, doesn't he? That's that's a key to success in life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um if if you it says no cash alternative. So if winner has already signed up, they can take up a place on the course of the same or lesser value or gift it to a friend. Oh, that's good, Becky. Thank you for putting that in there. So what I do is you can guess as many times as you want in the chat, as often as you want. We have a lot of people in here. So we're going to try to find the first person that answers the correct answer. But if not, it's you get what you get and don't get upset. It's whoever we pick, him and I will be looking. And we will, I will say a category and then you guess. And if it's tough over time, I will give a, a hint. So, oh, but before I do, I have to say that we have my art career starter bundle, starter bundle. It's on the mat site, art career starter bundle. You get, it's 15% off. You get boot camp portfolio, this boot camp drawing faces, instant access, so you can work on your faces, and hot markets for your art part A, which is bolt fabric, home decor, kid book, wall decor, and gift. And it, those courses tell, they're also self-paced, download right away, and they tell you how to get work in that those fields. 
So that is also for sale right now. So the category is, yeah, it's, oh, drawing faces changed your life. Good. Butterfly. Oh, okay. So here we have butterflies. So do you want to see the, the necklace I made? This, look at this. This is the necklace has beads too attached. Look, machine embroidery and then some hand embroidery. And it's um large, just a little large, but I feel like why not? I feel like it's a new way of doing art. Am I right? Maximalist, thank you. It's red. And why not? Why not have a big piece of art on your bosom? Why not? You can quote me. Yeah, it's a statement piece. It's a statement. I don't know if it's better down there or better up here. I like it here because then I can see it. Boob, booby fly. <laughs> that's good. So that's that's something I've done. You see, it's this but bigger. And I also made it out of stained glass. Oh, you don't see it as a butterfly. Okay. And look how cool that machine is. Cleavage cover. Yes, if you ever want to be discreet. But I'm being sex positive. Okay, thank you. And yet I'm successful. Interesting. How does she do it? How does she stay weird and make a living? A good one at that, I might say. But I am here to help you now. So the category is a product that has art on it. A product that has art on it. Oh my God. Oh, I saw it already. So um, oh my God, I you're good. I, saw... I, I can't even. Um, I think it was Kim actually. Yes, Kim said teapot. Teapot, the winner is teapot. Okay, um, and Kim, does it say Kim who? Just says oh, Kim. Just Kim. It's not me. I promise. Thirteen. <laughs> Yay, Kim! Kim, Kim, who said teapot at one thirteen? Type in, type in something so we know it's you, and if you want to give your last name, so we know which Kim. Congratulations! I wish we could give her a teapot. You won boot camp. Yay. Yay. Where is Kim? Is she here? I want a teapot. Yay, Kim. Yes, I think it's Kim Kalnoki. I think that was you. So if you can email um, hello and makeartthatsells.com and tell them that you won on assignment boot camp and they'll set you up with that congratulations thank you thank you thank you this has been wonderful you bring me uh oh do, uh, how to get a hard copy of i just like to make things it's out of print it's 10 years old or 11 years old i'm thinking of maybe getting it republished or something but you know i don't have time but uh i think you can just get um like a used copy now or something um, oh, it's on, it's in Kindle. Kindle. Yeah, do Kindle. Okay. I want to say everybody, thank you so much for giving me your time, your passion and enthusiasm for wanting to make your life richer with art and more lucrative with art. I know how to make art lucrative for people that's what I'm here for and that's what I want to help you with and that's an important thing you want to make your living getting paid for your art or at least make more beautiful art if that's not your thing and it's fine whatever you want I'm here for you thank you so much and I will see you in class and sign up now so you get your first assignment and and start putting it in the Facebook group so I can see what you do. I'm very excited. It's a good one. Thank you, everybody. I will see you later. Bye.